Hey everyone, it's Sunday the 14th of January and it's 11.30 in the morning and we are back on the RM all-in-one computer. So, I know it's the next day from the other video but I have uh, been doing a bit of thinking. I've actually dug up a few more bits and bobs. Um, there's a few bits here that aren't actually related to this but they were in the box a bit in the bedroom, so I just bought it all through. Um, and I've actually ordered a couple of parts from the Ebays. So, what have I actually been up to? I'm actually hoping we can actually start assembling this in this video. So, um, I did find myself another Wi-Fi card. Which is good because the one that's currently on my main desktop computer it tends to be temperamental sometimes. Touch wood, it's been behaving for the last two days. But it has moments where it just drops out by itself for no reason. Even though it shouldn't because there's literally like three feet between that and the router. So, <laughs> I know it's not the router because my phone works absolutely fine. Um, I'm trying to stick around as well. DDR2, one gigabyte, uh, 5300. Fan. And I said just a few uh, unrelated bits and bobs. Uh, I forgot that was through there as well. A couple of uh, adapter cables, including a slightly longer Molex to SATA. I'm not going to need, and I'll show you why in a minute. USB card. Right. If I can avoid it, I don't want to lose those screws. Now, I have found up an SSD. In fact, I stole it from something that I haven't used in a couple of years, but I want to keep the computer. One of these sapphire sort of mini computer things. It's basic. The way I would describe that is basically a laptop in a case. Minus the screen and the keyboard and everything. Because <laughs> it's got um, laptop RAM in it. You know. It's virtually just a laptop motherboard. DDR3 RAM by the way. So it's not a bad system. So. I know that works. We should have Windows installed on it. I also found another drive bay adapter and hard drive and another hard drive um, and when I was playing about off camera last night I also discovered that unlike the adapter I put in here this one I can actually fit two hard drives in it. So I can actually put in the SSD and a storage drive on top. Granted it would be the um, a laptop hard drive which aren't known to be the fastest but it's better than uh, nothing. I've actually realised I've got a few of these Western Digital Scorpio Blacks. There's one, I think there's one up in the cupboard. There's one there, which is 250 gig, I think. 2009 is the manufactured date on this one. This one's a 320 gig. That's bigger, and I'm pretty certain if I actually go into my cupboard just over there, I'll find another one. This one was a 250 or something like that. Yeah, 250. I'm curious now. What's the other one? Should be one of these top two here. Yeah. This one. This is the newest, I think. 24th of October, 2010. It's a 500 gig. What's the manufacture date on this one? 2009, 12th of December 
2009, so there's about a year apart with those two. And what about number three? No, oh, this one is actually the uh, newest. This is 5th of April 2011. That's the 250 gig one. That drive bay adapter can also hold two drives, but this is actually deeper than that one. And as I lack space, I'm not going to risk using that one. We'll use this one. So I think that's one of the first things I will do, actually, is get this swapped out. One of these hard drives actually does have screws in. It's not that one, it's one of the Western Digital Black Z. Oh, and that one's got screws in as well if I need them. So that should now just pop upwards like that. I always screwed this to the bottom. I was like, how did I put that hard drive in there? This is more like an adapter plate or something. Yeah, I just screwed it in the bottom there, didn't I? Alright, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to have to put the drives on this first. Now, which way around do I do it? SSD first, then hard drive? Or hard drive, then SSD? What's more likely to fail? The hard drive, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I'll put the SSD in first. Just make sure that's going to fit in there. Yep. So, I'm dropping that in there. Pinch just a couple of screws. I'm going to need a small screwdriver. This one might be a little bit too small, actually. I'm just hoping this is magnetic. Because I've got to hold this, line the holes up. Quarters. I think two will do. Oh, and I did experiment with these bays as well. With the uh, throw the screwdriver around. <laughs> with the. Uh, floppy bay on the side there, they do fit. Even the uh, bigger one here will fit, taller one. It's just that they won't mount to the thing without modification. So I could essentially, I could have two more hard drives in there. But I actually want to get a um, USB 3 adapter to go in there, as I've got the uh, socket there. I'm just fit that in there, that'll fit in there nicely and then just bring the cable up there because there is a bit of room for some cabling in there I've taken the top panel off uh, what we that's the terabyte drive might actually stick some extra screws in that connect the terabyte drive up just yet because uh, well, the system will get confused with um, what boot drive is what. So what I will do, leave it disconnected, power this up, which I'm not going to be able to do today, because one of the things I have ordered from, well what I've ordered from eBay, 
are extension cables for a power supply. The um, ATX connector and the 4-pin connector, because I found another power supply. I found a 400 watt power supply, actually. Which is what I was looking for in the other video, I just couldn't find the stupid thing. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. I knew I had it, I just couldn't find it when I was doing the other video. But yeah, it will f um, fit the case. The problem is... Chucking screws everywhere now. Could I actually get that started with this smaller one? Put it in upside down. <sighs> Shall we try that again? Thought I'd put it in the right way up. That's the way it's got to go. This one's a bit fiddlier because there's a gap between um, each drive, which I suppose is done for an air gap. Uh, I think to make life a little bit easier, I'll put this one in this corner. Should be able to use the bigger screwdriver now for the next one. Because with a screw in each corner, it's going to be easier to uh, hold it. More, and we can pop that back in. I'm going to see if I can find some. Shorter SAR cables for this as well. I've left one of the Molex cables in here as well. I'm going to use that to pull through the cables from the new, what do you call it, new um, power supply. So that goes in there, that goes. There, a couple of screws. This one actually lines up better. The screw holes line up a bit better. In that case then, put an extra couple of screws in. Uh, bar screws. One. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. It does mean though, I have to uh, put it upside down. There we go. Right, no, put 
those two screws back in. I'm going to need two um, power starters up here, aren't I? It should be a problem. I've got various adapters and whatnot, and extensions and things, so. Right, the drives are in. Rattling about. This is the power supply. And you can actually still get power supplies like this brand new and they're not that expensive. But uh, as you can see, these, that's your 12 volt for your CPU, too short. And the ATX was too short. And I was actually going to cut this and extend it. I was going to butcher it and join on an extension. And then I when I was sitting at the computer to actually start doing this, I thought, I wonder if you can get extensions on eBay. Yep, and they're very inexpensive as well, so I grabbed some. They're not that much too short, but not long enough. So I think the um, like the, they're around about 30 centimeters long. Actually, I think the ones I got are about 28 centimetres aprox, which is more than enough. Because so I think that ATX connector sort of reaches to about here. So I might have to do a bit of cable management somehow, but I'm sure we'll get there. I'm sure, I'll sort something out. But yes, that power supply will fit down there. It's exactly what I wanted, actually. Right. Big old puff star cables. Okay. Another one. Let's see what I was after was something short like this. Just to make cable managing a bit easier in here. Like that. And I'm gonna Plug that one. Let's get a bit of crap off of there. See, that's why I want the short ones. I'll find another short one. I want a nice longer one as well for the uh, CD ROM drive, which has actually got to be fed down the back here somewhere. <laughs> was, this is the one that was on it, but that's as long as it was, which uh, wasn't quite long enough, unfortunately. I think I'll use one of these blue ones for that. I've got another blue one here all bundled up. Red. Well, that's really short. A SATA connector. Is it going to reach? Oh, it is going to reach. I'll turn that around then. Yep, I know I've plugged it in. That'll do for now. That actually looks a lot tidier. So, I guess I just need to finagle this in here somehow. And what I did want to do as well, because of these, these um, header cables go around there, I was actually wondering if I could... Uh, Put like a fish wire down there, fishing wire, and just pull these up around the back because there is actually plenty of room. You might have to do them one at a time, but there is room down there to do it. And I could get them up behind the uh, speaker. There is a circuit board down there as well. I'm presuming it's for the audio, like a little audio amp, because there is a um, 
two speakers on here. I don't know if they're stereo or if they're just connected to each other. Um, it's a bit difficult to see. I think that blue SAT cable is going to be the only one I need. going to do the same for the uh, USB and front audio but they ain't actually long enough because they've got to go down here and the other thing I wanted to do if I could I don't know if super glue or hot glue is going to be the best I just want to glue on that cable management thingy which come off if I can find it because it's disappeared oh there it is I might have to just clean this crap off. I'm just going to like super glue it into place there. I could just try it as it is. I should have some super glue in it. Is it tube that? I bet this isn't an open one though, is it? No. Nope. Dinky little Phillips gone. I always find that the bit they give you on the lid to pierce it never works. Put a load of nice wet super glue like that on there. And that on the other. It's only got to hold up enough to, uh, you know keep the cables out of the way, it's not going to be under too much stress, so... I haven't got any activator spray, otherwise it would have uh, dried in 10 seconds if I did. Now what I need... is a bit of wire or something that I can just thread down the back. I don't think... I've got anything, unless I can... drop this uh, switch down the back there. I could do with a stiffer bit of wire though. I might actually see if I can't go find one. It would just be easier. I'm trying to snake something this flimsy down there, which has already got stuck on the bloody. I'm not sure what that's got stuck on, but it's got. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I think a stiff bit of wire is going to be uh, easier. Let me just go and find a piece of wire. Anyway, then, we've got some wire. Let's see uh, what we can do. Just some old bits of telephone wire from the looks of it. It's pretty stiff and it'll just be uh, much easier if it's long enough to... Uh, no, they ain't long enough. Let's try some of this in this bundle here then. You know, I've got oodles of wire. I've got a big box full of just bits of wire like this. And yet it's still bit of a pain to find bits when I want them. Again, that's not long enough either. Why am I having such difficulty trying to find bits of wire? Could I? You see, it's not going to give me a great deal to play with, is it? It's going to be a bit fiddly. Let's give it a go anyway, shall we? Got that end, and can I just sort of hook that over there, maybe? And then I'm just going to wrap that around the end like that. And I'm 
open. I hope that I haven't got to do it one by one. to lay flat just to get them underneath that circuit board. I won't do that. Grab that in before I lose it and then I can get that to lay flat. Either that or I'm just going to have to go another route with it. Can I wiggle it? No, it won't come off. Um, I can take the speaker out for a bit more hand room. change my room actually. That's the easiest option. There we go. Through all the monitor cables there. Come here. Like that. Just bend it over there so I don't lose it. Grab hold of my head of wires. We've got three on this one because we, uh, we don't seem to have a reset button. I don't think anybody uses a reset button nowadays anyway, do they? side of that that was easy be easy to do it this way than trying to do it the other way pulling the cables back through the bottom I might have to lay that down because I can't see and I still can't see because now my bloody hand is in the way Got it. Nope. It did. But only one side of it. You've <laughs> got one set of pins. I said it would have been easier to do it this way. I'm changing my mind on that one. I think that is on there now. Don't know where my flashlight went. No, it was very uh, temperamental flashlight. Yep, we're on. These can now go over here like that. You see, perhaps I could snake them under there. And they just come through the gap at the top, which is exactly where the uh, SAR cable has got to go. The this drive. Might be easier to snake it this way as well. And push it down, and I might just be able to get my hand in there. Yeah, there we go. I've got that one as well, which has got to go on there. And that can go through the top. That's on there nice and securely as well. That 
that's the power cable for the uh, screen. So I've got to get these on here now, haven't I? Uh, that's got to go there. And that's the power switch, isn't it? At least it'll be easier as well if I get these LED wires around the wrong way uh, to swap them. But I do believe they are around the right way. And that will just sit there quite nicely. If I want to, I could uh, pull the slack through a little bit, couldn't I? Let's just put a cable tie around there because I've got loads of them. I think this is a bit overkill, but I'll have play in there at least. Uh, now you've got to go through there. Yeah. And then the power supply should sit on there quite nicely. Right, so that's got to go in that way, and I need two of these shoved through there. What have we got? You might have to use some extensions anyway. That's SATA and Molex. That's SATA and Molex. And that is two Molex. Um, I mean, I have got a splitter. Size. Or the other thing I could do is just butcher on another one of these. That wouldn't be too hard to do, would it? I've got quite a lengthy one there. Ow! A lengthy one there with a extra red wire coming out of it for some reason. And um, another one here. You well, we could soon just add to one. It's pretty, I didn't have one like that and two SARS on, because so I could do that and have plenty to go up to here. Uh, let's not worry about that for the time being, though. Let's uh, try and finagle this. And again, I don't. I don't think my hand is going to reach. Um, it will. Put a CD drive, that's fine. So I can get the ones in for the CD drives, that'll be good. The CD drive and possibly. Well, I don't know if I'm going to need another one for up there or not, but. Need to um, waste time to that, do I? Because uh, USB 3s don't need it, they plug straight into the board. Uh, what I will do is just try and get this through here and out. supply uh, in at least. And it's got to go that way around so I need one
So the Molex down here, I am actually just tempted to wrap this up. Plug the monitor into that. Put a little bit of heat shrink over the ends of those wires there. I can't remember why they were cut now, but never mind. Uh, I need a cable tie, don't I? Have I got any laying on the worktop? Yep, a big bundle of them. I was just going to do that. Is it's quite tight for space down there. What I'll do. Oh, crud. My snips are through there. Hang on a minute. Okie dokie. I'm back once again. The Renegade Master. I think what I will do is I only need the one Molex down there. I'll do that and then just put a little bit of heat shrink over the ends of those just to prevent them shorting out on the case. Uh, is it too thin? It's too thin, isn't it? Uh, let's try... we should be okay with red. Yep. Let's cut my these in half. did that one a bit too much because I've burnt it. I've also done away with the um, fire wire cable altogether on this. They never go together correctly. And now that I say that, that one actually went together quite nicely. So it's got to go in there, and this has got to go in. Let's try and get that to tuck somewhere out of the bloody way. Something like that, maybe. I need poking out of there. All I've got to do is see if I can't find some holes that will line up. Only one. Well, one's better than none. All I've got to do is stay in there. Now, what did I do? I might have got another one there. Yeah, I think the mounting holes are a little bit off on this supply. That one's gone in, so as long as I can get that to go in and it stays where it's meant to be. We're going to be good. Now, obviously, I can't do anything with these two power supplies. Although, I can show you now that they're... That would be extremely tight. Uh, so 
but I'm not going to risk it, and that one would be way too short. No, that one would be extremely tight as well. And I'm not going to force them like that. It's got to go on there, that's a USB header. these to there and that's a bit more cable management out of the way. Now one thing I haven't looked for yet is the possibility of a low profile GPU but I very much doubt such a thing is going to exist anyway. Uh, so they might get in the way but I very much doubt I'm going to populate any of those so I'm not going to worry about it for now. I can always change it later if I need to. And then my general idea is to put that there but then again I may not need it. I may end up running these up here or at least that one and then through that. I'll worry about those when I've got the power supply here. Well, um, not the power supply, the extensions. I just realised I have got this one, haven't I? Which I can very easily solve by adding this. My beef with these Molexes is that the pins wobble around too much. So you have to keep wiggling the wires. <coughs> Excuse me. Wiggling the wires to get the damn things to uh, connect sometimes. Okay, so one power there. I'm going to get them plugged in, then I'll worry about cable management afterwards. I might actually worry about the cable management on these. Uh, when I do that. Because it just, it lacks. Unless, I could have gone, I might actually have to take that cable tie off again and, you know, just connect this into there. Go up through here under those and not put them back in I'll just disconnect that top hard drive for now before I forget and one white won't boot yes, that can then go that I could actually pop this around here keep these together Hoping. Knew I did that bit too soon. Oh well. Let's pop another one on there. the end of that because I won't get hold of it again. Something like this. 
and I think the job will be good. Get them to stay right there. <laughs> that would actually be nice if I could get that to stay there, but there is literally nothing to put a cable tie on. Never mind. Uh, right, so I've power it down here for that and that. In fact, I can put this back in. He says, no. why this power connector has been such a pig to get on there. Let's try the power connector first. And then there you are. Up the right way. There we go. Just for a minute. through there just for a minute. I think we are about as far as I can go with it. Just clear some of this rubbish off of here. Pretty certain I can't go much further with it. Um, not until I get the uh, other components I need. Okay, so that's four screws that came at the bottom. I could do to possibly, uh, you know, add to this or upgrade this. We can add on the USB 3s, which I haven't ordered yet because I was just looking around at what was available. This I'm going to put on now because that socket is a bit flimsy and I just want to get my hands on the back of it. say the cable management is the best it's ever been on this system. <laughs> Even when I got it, um, it wasn't the best. All the wires were just everywhere in here. And this has to be expected, you know, straight from the factory.
Just got to sit in there. nothing under this, it's just a bit of trim, that's all this bit is. It's just framework under it. I tell you what though, this is quite a robust um, chassis on this. Oh, there is a third screw, I thought there was only two. There's one hiding right there. On. It's just got to go like somehow like that. I think that's on. Something like that. It's on there. Whacking these screws. Looks good to me anyway. It's there, that's a little bit off. Not a little bit off now. I'm still there. Not that. That ain't good. <laughs> ah, it doesn't look like there's actually any point to putting this top screw back in because it's broken. I wish I know where there's going to be a spare one if I need it. I can't put the other side on because I'm going to wait for the bits to come for that, aren't I? Right, yeah, let's just gotta wait for the extensions for this. Which I ordered last night, so I'm hoping I'll get shipped out tomorrow, so I'm hoping I'll be here for like uh, Wednesday ish. Anywho, there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And uh, don't forget, if you did like what you've seen, please hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. And when you do, remember to hit the uh, notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And uh, also, please check out the video description down below the video here. Uh, for links to my other two YouTube channels, my Discord server, and my Twitch channel. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.